Hello everyone, this is Dr. Shanika Madhavar. I am second year radiology resident from SBKS Medical Institute, Vadoda. My topic is role of a modified CT CVRT in evaluation of acute pancreatitis. Acute pancreatitis is generally classified into mild and severe forms. Mild pancreatitis, also known as the interstitial or edematous pancreatitis, which is associated with minimal organ failure. Severe pancreatitis, also known as the necrotizing pancreatitis, and is associated with organ failure or local complications, including necrosis, infection, pseudosis formation. Common causes are gallstones, alcohol, ERCP, trauma, post-operative, drugs, sphincter of ODI dysfunction. Introduction. Modified CT CVRT index was developed mainly for practical purposes for accurate diagnosis of mild and severe pancreatitis so as to proceed with proper management. Mild pancreatitis responds well to supportive therapy, whereas severe pancreatitis requires intensive monitoring and specific therapies and has a more guarded prognosis. Discussion. Since 1974, several clinical and radiological scoring systems have been developed for the purpose of accurately differentiating between mild and severe pancreatitis and patients who could potentially develop complications. Systems include Ransom's criteria, the acute physiology and chronic health evaluation scoring system, Balthazar's index, uh, CT severity index, and uh, finally the mod uh, modified CT severity index. to assess the severity of acute pancreatitis radiologically, but it was primitive and could not evaluate acute pancreatitis accurately. Indicators are normal uh, pancreas, zero points, focal or diffuse enlargement of the pancreas, one point, uh, intrinsic pancreatic abnormalities with inflammatory changes in peripancreatic fat, two points, Single ill-defined fluid collection or phlegmon, three points. Two or more poorly defined collections or presence of gas in or adjacent to the given four points. And necrosis. On a 10-point severity scale, points are awarded for the presence or absence of fluid collections in combination with an assessment of the presence and degree of pancreatic necrosis. Predicts the overall morbidity and mortality in patients with acute pancreatitis. Limitations are the score does not correlate with the subsequent development of organ failure. The inter-observer agreement for scoring CT scans using this index is only moderate, approximately 75%. Mild pancreatitis is 0 to 3 points, moderate pancreatitis uh, is 4 to 6 points, and severe pancreatitis is 7 to 10 points according to this index. Modified CT CVRT index was developed to overcome the limitations of CT CVRT index for the evaluation of acute pancreatitis. It is a novel, modified, and simplified CT scoring system whose scores can be used to predict clinical outcomes, outcomes better than the scores obtained with the current system while maintaining or improving the inter-observer agreement. Mild pancreatitis is 0 to 2 points, moderate pancreatitis is 4 to 6 points, and severe pancreatitis is 8 to 10 points. Materials and methods. We performed retrospective review of 10 patients who presented with primary diagnosis of acute pancreatitis. We obtained institutional board approval for the study. Because it was a retrospective study, patient-informed consent was not required. All the patients underwent contrast and on CT scan. Image analysis. Most of the patients presented with chief complaints of acute abdominal pain, mostly in the epigastric region, which decreased in bending forward position associated with vomiting and fever. Some patients also presented with associated jaundice. This patient had focal inflammation of the head of the pancreas. Few necrotic, peripancreatic, and para-aortic nodes also noted. 
the CT severity index for this patient was three, which is mild pancreatitis, while the modified CT severity index was four, which is moderate pancreatitis. There are changes of acute pancreatitis with phlegmoin formation from the tail of the pancreas with fat infiltrations in adjacent to the tail and distal body region of the pancreas. Wall thickening and ascites with fluid collection in the lesser sac. The CT severity index of this patient is 6, which is moderate pancreatitis. And the more which is also more moderate pancreatitis. Ascites. The CT severity index for this patient is 4, which is moderate pancreatitis, while the modified CT severitis. This patient has enlarged edematous pancreas showing multiple. This patient has changes of acute on chronic pancreatitis with cysts within the body of the pan pancreas and large pseudocysts with multiple lattice and bilateral fusion. The CT severity index is 4 which is moderate pancreatitis, while the modified CT severity index is 8, which is severe pancreatitis. This patient presented with an enlarged, inflamed, and edematous involving the head, body, and tail of the pancreas with peripancreatic fluid seen. This, the patient also had multiple gallbladder calculi and bilateral perfusion. The CT severity index for this patient was 3, and modified CT severity index was 8. Conclusion, the study of these patients proved that modified CT severity index has better correlation with the patient outcome. The modified CT severity is more accurate in diagnosis and hence in management of acute pancreatitis as compared to other indexes because it also includes the extra pancreatic complications and sequelae of pancreatitis along with the interesting lesions. Thank you.